If you or someone you know needs hip surgery, you know it's a major surgical procedure. Today, a local doctor explains what increases that risk in surgery plus the benefits. Joining us, local neurologist and pain management expert, Dr. Chad Domang with the Avala Health Network. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, good afternoon. Just to get a statistic to what you're talking about, by 2040, 78 million people are going to have hip problems and need surgery. So this is a very good topic. Yeah, it's, that's amazing. That's a, a pretty high number. Um, what do you say to people who have concerns that, you know, it may be too risky? I may never walk again. I'll never be normal again. Yeah, it's one of my favorite quotes in medicine. It's a simple surgery until it's not, right? And so what I mean by that is when you're looking at any type of surgery, don't ever let a doctor downplay the risk and complications. You need to go into everything with your eyes wide open. What type of risk factors do you have? Do you have diabetes? Do you have heart disease? or you're overweight, what type of surgery do you need? Do you need a minimally invasive? You know, have you tried simpler options? So it's not a, just a simple answer as this surgery is risky for this person. We're all unique and we all need to have a team approach with our doctors to make sure that all of our medical risk factors are looked at. Because again, once you're on that table, once they cut you, you know, things can happen. So how do you know you need hip surgery? What are the symptoms that you know it's, it's gone beyond the point of something you can live with? So I have a uh, hip here, you know, as we discussed, it's a ball and socket joint, you know, hip problems are arthritic, you can have it from trauma, rheumatoid arthritis, more common in females, um, not as common as men, uh, more common in people overweight, uh, what can you do to make your hip better, you know, activity, stop smoking, uh, lose weight, uh, but it's a groin pain, so I always tell patients that kind of frog maneuver when you, lay, you know, pull your legs out, uh, going upstairs, your back, your butt, your thigh, uh, this can mimic back pain. I mean, obviously, I'm a neurologist, so I do a lot of back issues. Uh, but I can tell you, you can see how close these structures sit together. A lot of time, a hip problem can present as a back problem. So again, good imaging, doctors, team approach. Make sure you have the right diagnosis because you don't want to do something unnecessarily. You say age, weight, uh, conditions like diabetes, they are some of the three biggest <laughs> risk factors. So how does modern-day technology account for that to make sure it's not a problem going in and emerging from surgery. So the, one of the things we're talking about today is obviously the wrestler, um, you know, Razor Ramon. I was a fan back in the day, you know, it, very tragic. He died from a blood clot. And so when you're talking about blood clots, the problem with a hip surgery is the time you're on the OR table. I discussed this case with my partner, Dr. Uh, Chase Schumacher here at uh, Avala. And obviously we have the robot, which is sitting behind me. The most important thing, again, after you stratify all your risk factors, you know, get a heart clearance, your primary care doctor, you want to do a surgery that gets you off that table as fast as possible. And that's what the robot does. It provides a very quick surgery, precise incisions. And then more importantly, after you have that surgery, you want to be active because if you're sitting around in a hospital bed, that's when you develop clots. So when you look at robotic surgery, the protocol at Avala is they have you doing physical therapy two to four hours after your surgery. So we're not talking days later. And that mobilization really mitigates clot formation. On top of that, they'll do these compression uh, devices on your uh, calves to keep the blood moving in that area. And then they'll also look at you know blood thinners you're taking before. Sometimes they'll mm -hmm. start you on a blood thinner after. But long story short, Liz, you want to make sure you have a whole team approach because you got to get off that table fast. You got to recover because the complications downfield can really lead to devastating ends, as we see, you know, in, in the hall of the wrestler that passed away. OK, well, thank you so much for stressing that, the importance of getting all those answers up front and, and getting it to be broken down clearly to you. Thank you so much, Dr. Chad. All right, Liz. Good to see you guys.